Hello, my name is Abe. Welcome back to Enter the Gungeon. We're gonna play as the Paradox today, and the reason is simple. We have just completed... Can't interact with this at all. We just completed unlocking all of the... alternate starting weapons for all of the characters, minus the co-op cultist character, which we might do at some point in the future. But I just kinda wanna do a random Paradox run. This is not modded, this is vanilla Gungeon. We start with an HP container, we start with the Blasphemy, uh, Riddle of Lead, and the Bow. Okay, well, Riddle of Lead is just like one of the premier items in Gungeon, so I'm very happy to have that. We have Blasphemy, which is, you know, meh. Meh for me, because I, I don't love using it, because I think it's very strong, but... Dude, starting with Riddle of Lead, this is kind of why I, I like and hate Paradox at the same time because you can get runs like this where you start with a bow and it's like oh no the bow sucks and oh wait a minute we actually have riddle of lead once we get a replacement gun we're gonna be very happy that we have this you know like this is a it's a pretty damn good start to a paradox run not the best of course you know I've seen people posting on uh, the Enter the Gungeon subreddit, some of their starting runs are pretty ridiculous when they have, like, Gunther combined with the clone. <laughs> but still, that's a pretty damn good start to a run here. Did I hear about this mysterious super secret that Dave Crooks? I thought it was Dave Cook. Let me it is Dave Cook. That he talked about on a podcast. I did not. Tell me about this mysterious super secret. Is there a super secret in the game somewhere? Because I, I was, I was going to say, I may have said this in an earlier run. I was pretty sure there was going to be some super secret in the game. Something that the developers said that they hid very well. And they wanted to make sure that people wouldn't just find it immediately or data mine it. And there are obfuscators in the game that prevent you from just looking at all the game code, so there's probably something somewhere that is a super secret. It would be fun to, to try to find that, but I have no idea what it would be or where it would be. And of course, whenever I, you know you bring up secrets in Gungeon, here's the thing. There's two different types of secrets in Gungeon, and I hope it's of one type and not the other. You know, the, the one type of secret in Gungeon is, hey, this item has a 1% chance of appearing in your run, you just have to get lucky and get it. Or, hey, a glitch chest has a 1 in 10,000 chance of spawning, or whatever the actual probability is. I hope you get it in your run. You know, those are the secrets that, they're fun, but I would prefer for this secret, a super secret, to be of the other variety, which is, hey, you have to do this arbitrary thing, or you have to, you know, very secretly find it. You know, the Abbey, the Oubliette, you can find those in every run. The secret chamber in the hollow floor, you can find that in every run. That's what I want. But, you know, we'll see. There's another water barrel in a replacement room, so we don't need that one. Although I imagine one of the rooms connected to this room is going to be the uh, fireplace. Just because we've already seen two water barrels. Usually there's only two on a floor, I believe. But you never know. The rules may have changed, and uh, you know, randomness may have just decided that there's a water barrel in like this room or whatever it was. Yeah. So here's the fireplace room. Um, because the water barrel was outside of it, we're gonna have to go roll the other water barrel into this room in order to go to the secret room, <laughs> which is gonna be annoying. But we could we could make it happen. <clears throat> oh, excuse me. <clears throat> Ralptica, hello, welcome. How are you doing? The work says he finally beat the dragon on that run. He beat the Marines past. Well, congratulations. Now you just got to do it with every other character and beat their pasts, and then do it again later so you can get the alternate gun unlocks. <laughs> Which was fun. It was nice to do that to have an excuse to play through the characters again. I guess we're done. Could buy a key. Can we buy two? Probably after the boss fight. 
And if we can buy two keys, we could open up all three of the blue chests, or we could go down to the Oubliette. Oubliette. I don't mind having the bow here, believe it or not. It's decent enough damage. Why am I so fast? Oh, that's a riddle of lead, of course. We can hit at a very long range. We can focus on dodging, then focus on shooting. Then focus on dodging, then focus on shooting. I kind of like that back and forth. <clears throat> and I like having a little bit of a speed upgrade when fighting these guys, because they're annoying as all hell. But Trigger Twins should go down, and we should ideally have a blank remaining for a secret room. Although we haven't found a... Oh! Bad dodge roll! <laughs> Uh, so well, you might as well, you know, save the blank to try to find a secret room. Probably just gonna use it either in the shop or the exit room. Ah! Oh. Damn it. So close! So close! Hey. No, give me the ammo, you stupid son of a gun. Uh, the gun, dueling pistol, kinda sucks. There we go. Should have picked up the ammo. I didn't even see it, though, when I walked through the room. <laughs> we'll buy both keys at the very least, uh, but what are we going to do? Are we going to go to the snooze liette, or are we going to go down to the second floor proper? I like going to the oubliette, and I really don't like the chests on this floor. Maybe we'll open up one. Oh. Apparently, you can't hurt yourself with this anymore, so it's better, but I still don't love it. And then I have to like find the water barrel, roll it all the way down there. You know what? Nah, screw that. Only because rolling the water barrel would take like 10 million years, am I not gonna go to the oubliette on this run? We're just gonna go and skip it. We'll see what kind of a run we can build on our own without any of the secret floors. You think the uh, Spider Cat Gaming says, I think the secret is on the new secret floor because that floor always has the same layout. I mean... Maybe, maybe not. Like, that doesn't necessarily mean that the layout is the same, that there's any other secret on that floor, you know? Other floors in the game have secrets that appear every time, like the fireplace room. You know, if they wanted a secret to spawn, they could have just spawned the secret... Um, you know, on the floor. The old crest, the abbey entrance, the oubliette entrance, the fireplace room, the uh, cell creep. You know, all those things spawn guaranteed every floor, so they could make something super secretive spawn. On any floor, even if they randomize the floor. What I think probably happened and why it has the same layout is... Hold on, I gotta sneeze. Oh, excuse me. What I think probably happened on that secret floor is that they had to finish a certain number of rooms for the floor, and so they just finished the rooms, they created a layout, and then it's the same every time just because those are the rooms that they had finished, you know what I mean? It's like, we have to finish at least, you know, ten rooms in order to have a decent floor here. Uh, well, let's do it anyways. And, okay, we got ten rooms, let's just make a, a layout for them, and bam, secret room's done. Secret floor is done, you know? That's what I think happened there. I don't think that the floor being the same every time is necessarily indicative of there being a secondary secret there, but you never know, maybe there is. Maybe if you have, like, the jetpack, and you fly off the building when the jetpack is active, you can go to a secret or something, I don't know. Can you bust out of the windows on the floor? I don't know. Who the F knows? Here, have my gun. Use a Winchester rifle for a little while. I don't really want to use the... Uh... The Betrayer, even though it is good. Why am I killing enemies in one hit? Th that has to be the, uh... 
Riddle of Lead, right? That is a damage upgrade, I believe. It's a speed upgrade, I know that much, but it has to be a damage upgrade, because we shouldn't be one-shotting these enemies, but we are. Which I like. Thank you, Riddle of Lead. Salvador Bunny, welcome. How you doing? Oh, you again! How many times do we fight this freaking jerk? I just wanna try to blow him up. God, this item is so bad. They're, they're not even exploding. <laughs> I mean, it's probably more of like a room clearing type active item than a boss killing active item, but I still would like the uh, grenades to explode at some point. Cluster mines, whatever they are. Whatever, I'm just gonna take the ammo in this. It's a pretty horrible active item, though. <laughs> <laughs> Here. Uh, it's like it, it's like instead of the individual grenades or the sorry mines, instead of the individual mines having a explosive hitbox, it's if they stand in the middle, then they have the explosive hitbox. Dead prez. And like that's not what I want. I want them to, ex I want each mine to explode independently of other mines, please. Thank you, game. Hmm. Apache Thunder says, there are instances of Bowler, that's the uh, rainbow NPC, lighting himself on fire when he comes to a chest, when he's standing on top of the chest, and maybe that has something to do with it. Maybe, or maybe that's just him being like, ha ha ha, I'm truly evil. Maybe he's the true final boss. Maybe the secret's in rainbow mode. Maybe the secret is that there is no secret. And it's just to make you guys think that there's a secret. Maybe they're gonna patch it in. Maybe it's not done yet. Oof. Gotcha. 25% damage upgrade? I always underestimate the damage upgrade from that item. That is fantastic. There it is. We have a blank. Have we found the secret room? We have not. I'm gonna guess that it's in here. I was wrong. We're gonna open up a couple of chests. There's a lot of a lot of blue level stuff on this run, admittedly. A lot of blue level chests that we're opening. And a few, you know, brown level chests as well, but at least most of those haven't not required keys. It's a little bit of an unusual run, if you ask me. But I like having a lot of these guns. A lot of these guns are actually pretty good. Of course, I wish that maybe they were a little bit better, but... I'm trying to distract you from there being a secret. I'm not saying... that there is no secret. I'm saying I don't know what the secret is. A friend of yours just started playing Enter the Gungeon. Any advice? Uh, my advice is don't worry about about, um, you know, always making progress, always winning. Just have fun. Have fun with the game. Enjoy your experience in the Gungeon. You only get to play a game for the first time once. You know what I mean? Which admittedly is, is... I mean, this room just sucks to start with. It's admittedly one reason why when I, um... A lot of times when I watch someone play a video game when I'm watching a, a Let's Play or something, I would prefer to watch a, a Let's Play blind, where someone is has no real idea about what's happening in the game, and they're just going through it for their first time. So if I'm watching someone play, like, a Dark Souls game, I don't want them to know what all the bosses are and what to expect and where to go. I want them to have to learn that, you know, as I, uh, as I watch them. Derringer good with the synergy? Maybe it's the synergy plus the damage upgrade, because like I'm actually able to kill enemies pretty quickly. Yeah, we're not getting a lot of value out of ricochets, but you know, it's a little bit of extra damage. Oh! I got stuck on the table! I didn't even see it! <laughs> a lot of dumb damage in this run, but it's my warm-up run for the uh, the stream day. 
random paradox runs start with the uh, insanely overpowered S tier riddle of lead. And then never get any quality of item greater than blue for the rest of the game. <laughs> you know, that would be an interesting, like, way of balancing it. Not, not Gungeon, but, like, maybe a game mode where you, your play's Paradox, you can pay to upgrade your starting item, but then you only get lower quality items or, you know, whatnot in the future. Like, oh, hey, you want to start with an S tier item, you will not see any other A or S tier items in your run. Is it a good idea? Bad idea? I don't know. Probably a bad idea. Hmm. You know what? We'll take it for the Derringer. It's... Honestly, it seems to be relatively okay. What I need to do is I do need to change to an alternate gun on, on difficult rooms. Could have avoided me taking a little bit of damage, but... You know, I like sometimes using some of the bad items in the game. Let's use this. You know what? Good luck. And the fire, the fire, the fire, the fire. It burns, it burns. Ugh, I'm dead. That's right. Uh, regular shotgun is real good. But let's keep exploring. Try to find more chests. That's why you loved Hollow Knight. Yeah, it's something like Hollow Knight. Like, I don't want to play the game and have, you know, chat be like, you gotta go here, you gotta go here. It's like, hey, I'll explore, I'll figure it out. You only get to play a game for the first time once. Dun, 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 dun. I do love the sound effect of those bouncing musket balls, though. I'm, I'm, I'm a lot faster than you are, my friend. <laughs> I think a little bit of the damage on this run has also been... I'm moving a little bit faster than, than normal, and I'm not quite even right now uh, getting used to that. I am still moving a little bit too fast, but it's getting better as time goes on. You know, that's my my favorite excuse for when I take damage in Gungeon. It's oh I'm just I'm just moving too fast. <laughs> Don't blame me, blame the game. Do these things have a limited range? I don't think so. Can't see him. I know there's a guy up there. I can't. There we go. Is someone doing a buff? He'll die one day. Yeah, with the damage upgrade with the Derringer right now, we are at least able to, you know, kill an enemy with two shots. It's not that bad. Daruma. Is this going to be the mythical run where I actually, like, use Daruma correctly? Who knows? No cell creep. There is a map man, though. Hey, friend. You're gonna give me pulse cannon. Is Rainbow BCDD 20T possible? Yeah, I was. I mean, we were kind of talking about this a little bit. I think it might actually be easier in Rainbow mode, because at least in Rainbow mode, you get access to, you know, a particular item or passive per floor guaranteed, and you get to select which one it is. That's a major advantage in BCDD 20T, I think. You know, you get four times the opportunity for poison or fire immunity, or, uh, whatever the, uh, item is called, the uh, hazmat suit. You know, you get four times the opportunity of getting something that is gonna help you on your run. That, there's, that, that cannot be underestimated, I think. Oh, okay. You know, there's, a, there's some major advantages there to being able to select your items and to get guaranteed good items. Dude, why are the bullets moving so fast today? Is it just because, like, on the last run, we ended up having uh, slow motion bullets and my, my brain is still calibrated for that? That was yesterday. My brain should be reset by now, but it's not. Oh my freaking god. Um... You know what? I really, 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 really want to steal some stuff. 
We can buy a key. We can steal, like, the Chaos Amulet, I think. You know, I'm, I'm just gonna drop... Ah, I don't want to drop Daruma. Okay, we're gonna, we're gonna steal one item from this guy, and then we'll take Daruma. Because I, I do want to practice with Daruma. So we're gonna go, uh, we're gonna go practice with Daruma. But I do want to get a blank synergy with it. So we're probably... Uh, you know what we can do? There we go. We can steal two amulets, and then whenever we use Daruma, it's gonna randomly apply status effects and then do massive damage. We can't afford the key, but I don't care. I like this. I like this idea. And we're just gonna keep using Derringer, because <laughs> why not? Ah. <laughs> uh. Suffered Bunny says, today you finished all of the Hall of God bosses on a tune difficulty in Hollow Knight. You're disappointed on the reward. I will do that at some point. I hope. I hope I can make it. So we're at the point where, you know, even with the damage upgrade, we're not able to one-hit kill the enemy is using the Derringer anymore. That's kind of very unfortunate. Should be far enough away. At least against these Lich Spiders. Phase Spiders? They just don't move and they can't hit you. This guy's a little bit different, though. And there's someone summoning enemies. Okay, freaking fan Fantastic. Where are you? I'm gonna keep using Derringer, because why not? But <laughs> that's not gonna last us very long at this rate, I think. Sometimes these shots, it, it feels like the uh, dueling pistol shots don't bounce correctly. They don't bounce straight. I think it's just a, a feeling, it's not actually correct, but it feels like they just like bounce in a random direction because it's like, where'd they go? I should be getting extra damage out of the bounces, it's not bouncing anywhere. Also, how come those created fire? I'm still not entirely sure what's up with that, why sometimes when those chance belongs, uh spin and then they create the blobs, they create fire, and other times they don't. Maybe it's a random chance thing? Like, maybe they have more possible rolls, and a high roll means that they create fire, and a low roll means that they, do they don't create fire? I kind of like that, because I like the idea about them having more uh, possible results from their rolls. Gotta admit, the, uh... Daruma is recharging pretty quickly, but I wonder how much of that is off of the Daruma it damage itself. Like, off of the, uh, amulet that is causing enemies to light on fire or be poisoned, and then that extra damage is, uh, allowing it to recharge itself faster. I should play Smash TV. Another game I've never played. It's not gonna be there. <clears throat> Assistance, assistance Importer says that if you find a Gunim's lightning attack annoying, that he's discovered that you can just walk around him. Like, like stand really close to him? I could see that working, I guess. Stand close to him, and then when he's doing his lightning attack, maybe just kind of like dodge around him. You know, like you're playing Dark, uh, Dark Souls against a boss. <laughs> M1. <laughs> Excuse me. You stood a moderate distance away from him. I just hate the Agunim attacks. My brain cannot process where I should stand to avoid getting hit by him. <laughs> Apparently. 
You were hit once by a Gunim. Well, congratulations, noob. You're better at that stupid fight than I am. Okay, what are we gonna take for ammo? Oh my god, I guess we're gonna just fill up on the M1. Haven't had too many ammo drops, but honestly, we haven't had too many, like, guns that need ammo. Like, good guns that I want to have the ammo. And the M1 isn't super amazing, but it is just something that we can use. Ah, uh, okay. Secret room check. Nothing. Heart purse, shotgun full of love. Shotgun full of love might be a nice purchase. It would mean that we have to fight our way through some jammed enemies, but it is a good gun. And at this point, a good gun might be very useful. When did the last Dark Souls game come out? I mean, the last Dark Souls game was... Sekiro? <laughs> it's kind of like Dark Souls. It's very similar, like, from a gameplay perspective, minus, you know, mechanical changes. Yes. Robbed plus reloaded. We lost money and then we got max ammo capacity. Not double, it's like times 2.1. Okay. So we don't have, you know, the best guns in the game, but we got a lot of ammo for them. Honestly, that's worth the price. If you asked me if I would, you know, double the ammo capacity in all guns, I'd probably say, yeah, that's worth 50 credits. Might make it hard to buy a key on the floor, but... Right, you know, don't forget about the cell creep. It's the fourth floor. If there's any floor in the game where you can afford to spend a little bit of, of cash, accidentally or on purpose, this is the floor. So, yeah. That's probably pretty good for us. And it didn't cost us curse, this guy's just jammed. It either increases ammo or gives you max ammo up. Well then I guess we got lucky, because we didn't need ammo. Oh, chamber gun. Chamber gun, chamber gun. It is a really fun gun. We do have a couple of flawlesses, but really, I want the chamber gun for bullet hell. With Chamber Gun, we have a boss killing gun and a room killing gun for bullet hell. Does it make it a little bit easy? Potentially. It's still a new gun though. It's a new gun and we have a 25% damage upgrade, so I'm like, hell yeah. Um. Sekiro. Sekiro? Is that how it's pronounced? You know what I'm talking about. How did we open this other chest? Oh, was that the chest that had the wick on it? Maybe that's why I'm confusing myself. Because I was looking at it and I'm like, why is it? What did we get out of that chest? I didn't, pretty sure I didn't open it. Well, I mean, we could sell that, honestly. Uh, do we want chamber gun? Probably it doesn't matter for this boss, but I might as well, you know, start worrying about this process now. Sorry, goodbye. Sorry, Bo. Sorry, Junk. Need like 60 credits for it? Um, okay, let's drop... Can I drop it? No, that's unfortunate. I would love to drop the Derringer and the and the pistol, the dueling pistol. It's been a fun gun, but I think at this point it's it's just not good enough. The damage output is so low. So that should be enough for chamber gun. Oh right, it's the rocket launcher. I completely forgot that this is the gun that we were going to get. Th that's fantastic. I couldn't remember what the gun was for this floor, but this this is absolutely fantastic. It's wonderful. Now this is going to be the uh, 
kill pillars. I'm gonna use a blank because I, I don't really remember this gun. I don't know how, how uh, fast I need to shoot it in order to get it to break bullets. It should do the job though. I almost got crushed by them. I need to stop going down because if you go down, if you go up rather, they can't crush you up against the wall. So that is my bad. Should also do that just to light them on fire a little bit. This is a good gun. Not quite fast enough to uh, break all the bullets, but that's okay. We're dual wielding the Colt 45 and this new gun that we picked up, Colt 1851. That seems pretty awesome. <laughs> I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna say I'm pretty happy with that. Honestly, that seems like a pretty good, you know, room clearing combination. Now, unfortunately, we are out of keys. We're gonna break this. And are we gonna sell anything else? I mean, we could sell Heart of Ice. We really don't need it. I don't think it provides you with coolness. We could sell Riddle of Lead. <laughs> I don't want to do the secret floor either. I'm probably just gonna sell in that case, like sell the M1 in the Winchester. I think we should do this for money for the next floor. We would probably want to buy something on the next floor. Then we'll leave and go to the last floor. Well, not the last floor, second to last floor, really. I did steal and I got a little bit of curse. We'll consider doing a rainbow run next. Okay, so let's see, we have Double lava beam gun. I want to see it like oh it homes. That explains why this is a uh, a gun for this floor because it has these uh, homing lava beams. That's very interesting. Hey, kill him! Oh. <laughs> It's very, like, deep. But it seems pretty good. We'll keep using it for a while here. You know, we'll take an ammo drop for it at some point. JK47, at least that identifies the gun for us. <laughs> Thanks, game. Also, you fire the, the uh, Cold 45 very quickly. Having six guns in one is useful. It definitely is, especially when one of the guns is the super chain gun. I love the sound of this gun. I love the sound effect of it. The <laughs> it actually sounds wonderful. Reminds me of basically any lava level in any video game ever. And I love that it can kind of like target two enemies at the same time, or you could maybe stack the beams onto a single enemy. It's very interesting. It's out of ammo, but it's very interesting. Gotcha. That laser also does eat up a lot of ammo, you are correct. But at least it, it has what, I, what I'm really looking for in a gun in Gungeon. It's fun to use. Maybe it's not the most ammo efficient gun in the world, but I can get behind it. Also, I love breaking the, uh, the reload sound effect animation. <laughs> How many times can I reload my gun?
<laughs> Look, I am very easily entertained in Gungeon. <laughs> uh, it's a mimic! Wish you had all these guns. Your worst cell creep memory is accidentally selecting a full level Gunther when you meant to sell your active. At least you got a lot of money for it. Assistance importer. <laughs> hey, come here, bullet. If you're gonna accidentally sell something, you know what? I would prefer to accidentally sell my OP weapon, because then, you know, you can't use it as a crutch. Insert Minecraft lava sound. You know, it kind of does remind me of the Minecraft lava sound a little bit. You're not wrong. Now, unfortunately, we need an ammo drop in order to use the chain gun on the next floor, so I hope we do get one. Interesting. It's actually not that bad because we have uh, a lot of a lot of cold 45 ammo, and now we're out. I guess we picked up the cold 45 after, or before, I should say, we got the, uh, the extra ammo capacity upgrade. I just need, like, one spread ammo drop, and then we're, like, fine on ammo for everything. Come on, game. I know you want to do it. And also, the Void Core Cannon. We've been getting this gun a lot lately. Like, a lot, a lot, a lot. It's still fun. And it has a great sound effect on you firing this gun as well. So I don't mind getting it. Dun 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 dun! Dun 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 dun! It also has absolutely ridiculous knockback. Because each shot individually does ridiculous knockback. And then the shot like goes faster and faster as time goes on or something. I don't quite understand it myself, but it's working. All right, so chamber gun is gonna get a refill. That is a corpse of a spider. <laughs> just wondering what that was. Just ran into a green shot gutter on the first floor. That happens extremely rarely, but I think it does happen, so don't worry about it too much. Ah, oh, there it is. There's my ammo drop. Okay, well in that case, I could try to drill the dragon. <laughs> you know what? It's thematically appropriate. We're gonna use the lava gun. Kill the dragon. I meant to use the active item there. You know, it's actually, it's not that ammo inefficient. It's, it's chunking through the dragon. And it's recharging that Daruma very quickly. I like that it's kind of just like a... Hold on. It's kind of just like a... Uh, a proton backpack, but it has two beams. But now, we do want to go to the drill gun, because drill gun, I think it should kill the dragon heart in one phase if we get close enough. Because it does incredible damage. Yeah, yeah, that's fantastic. <laughs> Dude, awesome. Hey, Johnny404, hello, welcome. How's it going? Well, we know what we're taking. We're taking the ammo. Might as well go fast. And I think we're done with the floor. 
is not really even anything that's worthy of gun munching because we actually do like a lot of the guns that we have. And then on the next floor, we're just gonna, you know, probably just switch over to chain gun. And then hopefully just completely wreck all of the, uh, the enemies in bullet hell. Maybe there's a secret with the uh, with dragon, with like the uh, the room after the dragon fight. Maybe there's a secret with this room somewhere. I almost went up and did the past, but we don't need to do the past anymore. We can't even do the past, not as this character. Yeah, when you when you use the drill, you can see the damage cap. <laughs> that damage cap kicks in very quickly. Dude, the chain gun is just so broken. I love it. I have to use it because they're gonna patch it at some point, right? It's too strong. It's too good, is what it is. Kinda hoping we'd have like a synergy, I don't know. What's also weird is that we didn't have a lot of ammo in the gun. I guess because we went down to the next floor, it reset the ammo or something? Which is unfortunate because it means that we actually didn't get 1125 ammo, we just got 500. It's just, it's so efficient, it does su such incredible damage. It's, it's bonkers. It's the first, like, bonkers gun that I've seen in the, uh, there, there's the ammo, in the, uh, the update. Hey. Sorry, dog. It is pretty broken, and I love it. It's okay to have broken items in the game, if you can use them on occasion. <laughs> And what's, what's like the most broken about it is that you don't even have to aim. It literally homes in on every enemy in the room simultaneously. Maybe we could use as a tap shooting gun. You're not gonna get too many shots off. Whatever your name is, shambling round. This would be a gun where it's like, if you get this on a BCDD20T run, you're gonna be using it for like a quarter second because of the mechanics in that game forcing you to change your gun quickly, and then you're gonna be like, damn it! <laughs> All I wanted was to use the OP gun a little bit more. Why would they patch it if they are dropping into the dungeon? I mean, they're still gonna be, um, you know, doing bug fix patching, hopefully. I didn't want to move. I wanted this gun to be able to protect me. How do you unlock this gun? That's a good question. How do you unlock this gun? Is it just unlocked at the start? Or do you have to do something in particular to unlock this gun? I, I actually don't know. You'd have to look it up on, on like the uh, the wiki or something, or someone in chat would have to say. Okay, hold on. Get that drill out. Nah, let's use this. Nah. What else do we got? Drill! This should just be, uh, can I kill him using the drill? I mean, we can get the charge very quick. Shoot me. Come on, stop trying to hit me and hit me. We need the gun for beating Daisuke and finally getting 100%. Excuse me, Daisuke. 
You know the drill. Was a buff for the uh, grenade launcher. The grenade launcher was always green tier, but they made it have more like ammo capacity. They made it have um, instead of 25 shots, like 70 shots or something silly like that. So it's a lot better. Ah, gotta get in there. <laughs> It's a fabled run where I use Daruma properly. I'm only using Daruma properly because if I um, do any damage, I get the Daruma recharged. Hey. Hey, knock it off. Dude, drill. Dude, chamber gun. Chamber gun is incredible. We, we've we already learned that. We've already learned that the chain gun form on bullet hell is fantastic, but the form you get from the third floor flawless just has insane DPS. It's, it's kind of like an alien engine, except it doesn't knock you back. It also, I think, has maybe a little bit less range, but if you have anything that gives you invincibility, if you have an ice cube and anything that gives you invincibility, you're just gonna have to totally wreck. That's a fantastic run. A little bit quicker than usual. We didn't have, you know, an amazing assortment of items, minus, of course, Riddle of Lead, Chamber Gun, and a weird combination of Chaos Amulet plus Daruma, and we could just basically infinitely spam that Daruma on the boss fight using the drill. That was, that was fun. I had a lot of fun with that run, and I hope you did too. For those of you on YouTube, thank you very much for watching. Like the video if you enjoyed it, subscribe for more. Check me out on Twitch for when I go live. Support me on, support me on Twitch, Patreon, and Streamlabs. And I hope to see you here again for the next run of Enter the Gungeon.